Hey guys, it's Danielle here, back with another video. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by, but if you are not new, then welcome back. I have been dying to do this video and post it for you guys. The last time I did an everyday makeup routine, it was like my second video on this channel, and it was really embarrassing. I watch it over and over again, and I'm like, what the hell? was I thinking? I don't know. I was just like cringy as hell. So I feel like I have evolved and changed since that video. So I'm back with another one. And this one actually has a purpose behind it, unlike my other one. But I'm doing an affordable back to school makeup routine. And I start school in nine days. And yeah, that's really upsetting. But as unfortunate as it sounds, we have to get back into a school routine. And with that comes getting ready and doing makeup and hair, all that stuff. So I'm going to be real with you guys because that's what I'm all about is being real with you guys. I do not do makeup every single day for college. High school, I used to do makeup every single day. I was like, I am not leaving the house if I don't have makeup on. I don't know why I did that. I hate myself for doing that. But now that I'm in college, no one gives a shit. So we just go to college looking like a trash can. But the days that I do wear makeup, this is what I would normally do. It is so natural, so easy. All of these products are so inexpensive. No joke, this probably takes me anywhere between like five to 10 minutes, depending on how I'm feeling. So if you want to see how I transform myself into not looking like a naked mole rat, then just keep on watching. So first things first, I need to moisturize this face because it is dry and crusty. So I'm going to take my Clinique Moisture Surge. This is a 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. That was a mouthful. To be honest, this is probably the only thing in this whole routine that isn't the most affordable. I got like the medium sized one and I think I spent like 30 something dollars. They have a smaller one for like 17 or something around there but I just have really dry skin so I needed something good and I didn't care how much I had to spend because I just needed this. So you can use any moisturizer you want. It is literally gone and I've been trying to hold off getting a new one because I don't want to spend $32 again. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my face and I'm just going to rub this all over my face. I don't use primer um, because I don't use foundation. So this is kind of like my primer, I guess you could say, even though it's not a primer. <laughs> All right, we're done with that. So now that we have moisturized, I am gonna go to the brows and I'm using my Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil. This one is from L'Oreal. I got this at Target, so it is a drugstore product. You could probably get this at CVS too. And I have the shade Brunette, obviously. I love this because one side of it is the brush and then the other side of it is the pencil. So first I'm just going to brush them out so that I know the shape that I want. Oh my god. I need to get my eyebrows done so badly. Like, I look disgusting. All right, and now I'm going to take the pencil side. And I don't go crazy with this at all. I do very natural, gentle brows because I personally don't look good with like the big boxy filled in eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrow shape is fine enough. I only fill them in like a tiny, tiny bit. the brows you really can't even tell that I did them maybe you can 
I don't know. But since I do them very subtly, I don't use concealer under or above them because like I said, I don't go for that like boxy sharp look. I just fill them in a little bit to make them a little bit more fuller but still natural. So now it is time for the face. So instead of foundation, I use concealer. I really only do this under my eyes because as a full-time college student, I have huge, huge, huge bags underneath my eyes. I don't have them now because it's been a stress-free summer. You know, hot girl summer. But since school is approaching us, oh baby, they'll be there soon. This comes in lots of handy. So this one is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. I also got this one at Target. Again, with this, I do not go crazy with it because it is lighter than my skin. So I only put a tiny bit underneath my eyes. I look like when I went to high school and we would go to football games and we used to think we were all cute putting dots around our eyes. Do we remember that? We do. You're lying if you've never done this. And then I'm going to take my Beaten Up Beauty Blender because if you haven't seen the video that I posted recently, my boyfriend did my makeup and totally screwed up my Beauty Blender, got black crap all over it. So, I'm just gonna work with what we have, but I'm just going to pat this underneath my eye. Alright, so I look a little bit crazy right now, but I promise it'll become better. So now I'm going to set this concealer with my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is in the color Translucent. I'm just going to take a little bit and pat it underneath my eye. So I'm just going to let that sit there for a little bit. But now we're going to move on to bronzer, which is my favorite, favorite part of my whole entire makeup routine. So I have this fun contraption right here. Uh, I like to call this my Tarte box. It's from Tarte. It opens up like this. Everything in the middle is eyeshadows. And then over here is bronzer, highlighter, and blush. I love opening this. It smells like chocolate and cocoa. Oh my God, it smells so good. But yes, I'm gonna be using the Tarte bronzer. I'm just taking this contour brush and I'm gonna take some of the bronzer and I'm going to put this right on my cheek and then you just go ham on your face and blend the crap out of this. Okay, so bronzer is done. Now we're going to move on to blush. But before we do that, I'm just going to wipe away the rest of the setting powder. Okay, so again, I am using my Tarte box and I am taking this blush right here. And I'm just taking this powder brush and I'm going to apply this on my Okay, now highlighter, always need highlighter. And this is definitely why I call it the natural glowy look because we gotta use highlighter to glow, right? I'm using this highlighter right in the center. I'm just taking this brush. This brush is meant for eyeshadow, I believe, but it works really well for highlighter as well. And I'm just going to apply this on the highest points of my face. Glow like beach. 
much. Look at that. Okay, so we are done with the face. Now there is only two steps left to this makeup routine. So next I am going to be applying mascara. I've really been contemplating the whole eyelash extension situation and I really need your guys' opinion. If you have eyelash extensions and you love them, comment down below and let me know if I should get them or if you've ever had problems with them or if you think they're bad also comment and let me know because I've really been thinking about getting them but I'm like nervous I don't know why and another thing too is I already have pretty long eyelashes so I feel like if I were to get lash extensions that it would just like overwhelm everything because I already have long eyelashes but I don't know maybe I'm just overthinking but comment down below and tell me your opinion on them and if I should get them or just totally cancel that idea but anyways I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with this Tarte eyelash curler this thing is like so cheesy like what are these gems? And then I'm going to use the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This is also a drugstore product. Target, CVS, you can get this anywhere. This has been like my OG mascara since freaking middle school. I've always used this one and I love this one because the applicator curves so it makes your eyelashes longer. This one's just always been an OG. Okay, can we just take a moment to look at the difference? Like, look at this eye with my eyelashes. And then look at this one. Like, this mascara is so good. Oh my god. The last step to this routine is some good old chapstick. So I'm taking my drugstore Carmex chapstick. I know, so freaking basic. Just gonna apply this and we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this back to school makeup look. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get notified of every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.